Jessica Smith Neal. I'm the owner of Thread and Sprout, a company where I make colorful, playful clothing inspired by nature. Today, I'm going to show you how I make a nature tunic similar to the one I'm wearing, but this one in the color combination called Forest. I first learned how to sew when I was about five years old so that I could make matching outfits with my American Girl doll. And then I continued sewing all through childhood and through high school where I made all my own clothes. And then in college, I studied fashion journalism and graphic design. And at that time, I got very interested in sustainable fashion and the slow fashion movement as I learned more about the fashion industry's impact on the planet. And I realized I wanted to do something to help that. And so I started making clothes out of more sustainable materials like linen and things that were inspired by nature because I was spending more time in nature going on hikes in the Bay Area. Um, that's when I started making my nature-inspired clothing. I'm on my feet almost all day, whether I'm sewing, cutting out fabric, or taking the dog for the walk, or running errands, and duck feet allows me to be comfortable and do all that on my feet and take care of my feet in, with the shape that they are. <laughs> My clothes are meant to be comfortable and to be able to be worn all day long. So if you're wearing a threaded sprout dress and duck feet shoes, you could be working all day or take a nap in them and be comfortable. Um, and then also since they are sustainably made and the environment is taken into consideration in the manufacturing process, um, they do align with my values in that way. To make one of my pieces, whether it's a nature dress, nature tunic, or nature top, I start by getting an idea. And that idea usually comes from a landscape that I see in person, in a photo, or in my imagination when I'm reading a book. I then do a sketch of how I would interpret that landscape onto a garment and choose the colors. I then find colors of fabric that are similar to the colors that I would like the piece to be or that I imagined in my mind. And after I've chosen the fabric, I make my paper pattern uh, and cut out the individual pieces of the paper pattern, which I then use to cut out the individual pieces of each color of fabric. After I've cut out all of my pieces, I sew it together, which starts with each curved seam which gets a lot of pinning, and then sewing, serging, a lot of pressing, and then top stitching. And once each curved color block section is sewn together, the piece gets sewn together like any other piece of any other garment, uh, which fr with front and back sewn together, skirt sewn on if it's needed, pockets added if they're needed, and then it's finished and ready to go to a new home. <laughs>